Don't you hate these YouTube videos where the guy talks to you for 20 minutes about everything except how to do the repair and you just want to know how to fix your car. So I'm going to get right to the point. You're here because you have a fifth generation Nissan Sentra, which is 2000 to 2006. And you have received a code, an uh, oxygen sensor code, such as P0133. And you have access to an, a code reader, and that told you what that code is. Now, your code says Bank 1, Sensor 1. Well, which one is that? There's two sensors on this car. One's right off the exhaust manifold, and the other is under the car. Well, you're in luck, because if it says Bank 1, Sensor 1, it's this sensor right here. It's that one right there coming out of the exhaust manifold. If it's the other sensor, you got to get into the car. Good luck. All right, so what do you need? First thing you need, you need a new oxygen sensor. While you're at the parts store, pick up the tool that you'll use to replace it. They uh, will lend you the tool. However, a 7 8 inch crow foot will work or a 22 millimeter crow's foot will work. This is not a crow's foot, that's a crow's foot. You will also need a breaker bar. And the longer the breaker bar, the better. You will need penetrating oil. You're gonna need any kind of penetrating oil will do, just make sure you have some. And last but not least, you will need one of these. Actually, this is this is an extra. It's 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 the hot trick which no one will tell you. So in the Bosch videos, and you should watch the Bosch video, it talks about taking a wire brush and cleaning the threads. Well, the guy takes the brush. It's a battery terminal brush, and he does a a an incompetent job of cleaning the threads. This, however, is a uh, spark plug thread cleaning tool, and this fits the oxygen sensor hole. So this is a much better tool for cleaning the threads. And you don't even have to use a socket, you can just use your hand to get it in there. Now, the way you do this is buy the part at night, drive the car home, leave it in the garage cooling overnight. When it's cool, and before you uh, go to bed, spray the penetrating oil on there and get it nice and wet. Make sure it's covered. Make sure this, that where it enters the exhaust manifold, that's where you need to spray it. Make sure it's covered. In the morning, before you get started, spray it again. Make sure you spray where it connects to the exhaust manifold. Now, how do you take it out? Well, the first thing you do is you disconnect the electrical. And usually it's really difficult to do that, but here it's very simple. You just see this little plastic thing? You want to it's hard to do with one hand, but you want to get this thing open like so, and there, it's come apart. Then you lift this tab up, and you slide this out, disconnect it here, and you're ready to disconnect the sensor from the exhaust manifold. So using your tool, you will put this down here, down on the threads, and then you will pull the tool towards you to loosen it. Pull it towards you, and uh, once you have it loose and it's out, then you can take a look at it and you can see whether or not you have other engine problems. If it looks like this, you're good, it's just worn out. Now. Uh, Bosch says that these last about 100,000 miles. Well, they were off by 76,000 for me because I got 176,000 out of this one. And uh, so now what do you do next? Well, this already has anti-seize compound on the thread, so you don't need to put anything on it. All you need to do is screw this into the hole, finger tight, and then use your, your handy-dandy tool that's on your uh, breaker bar to tighten one quarter turn.
That's all you need. Now, don't bother about torque specs. I've looked all over. There are no torque specs for this. So one quarter turn. Then you put this back in the the uh, thing that the tab that holds it away from the exhaust manifold. Put your uh, connector on there. Put this on, and then snap it into place. And that's it. You're done. Well, not quite. Now, you need to go back to your code reader. You need to clear the code for this. And then you're, even then you're not done because you'll need to let the computer cycle through uh, a few times to clear all the codes that are on there uh, before you would go get a smog check or something like that. Uh, that probably takes you about half an hour, 20 minutes driving the car to do that. And uh, once you've done that, this repair is done. So that's all there is to it. If, you, if you'll give it a try, you'll save yourself a bunch of money. Good luck. Bye.